I'm in Shanghai and I'm at Mobile World Congress MWC 2023. And I'm here on Huawei's exhibition stand to see what new innovations in 5G and 5.5G that Huawei are bringing to market. The big takeaway from this year's MWC Shanghai for the consumer market is 3D. For many years we have been promised immersive experiences in VR and AR, virtual reality and augmented reality. However, up until now, with bandwidth limitations of 4G, the experience has been somewhat lacking. But now, with 5G and blazing fast next generation 5.5G, the immersive experience with a much increased bandwidth of 5G and 5.5G, we are seeing many native 3D devices appear in the market. These are devices that have 3D screens and do not require 3D glasses creating a much better user experience. So right behind me here is something what's called Cloud Phone. And this is an application that you download to your standard handset. And then it allows you to have a second phone, which is actually cloud-based. You can put apps on that, you can play games on that. And where this really comes into its own is that one, the, um, if you're playing games and your phone's not very powerful, you can play all the best games because actually all the processing is going on in the cloud. You can also take um, video and photographs using the cloud phone with the actual camera on the physical phone. But all the rendering and processing of those images is actually done in the cloud. And also all your photos that you take or videos that you take are actually stored in the cloud as well. What you are seeing here is traditional paper cutting and a woman playing the guzhong. This is being live streamed. However, this is no ordinary live stream. It's being recorded on a digital camera, sent to the cloud. It's then being processed into a 3D video and streamed to a 3D laptop, all in real time. All this is made possible by the large upload and download speeds of 5.5G, which is up to 10 times faster than the current 5G. And this is not some future technology we're going to see in one, two, three years time. This 5G technology is here right now. So there were a few uh, applications of 5G and 5.5G for the consumer market. However, I think the biggest advantage of 5G and 5.5G will be in the industrial space. So let's have a look at some of the industrial applications of 5G, spanning from manufacturing to mining to hospitals and all sorts of different enterprises. 5G can play a massive part in making those enterprises safer, more efficient and more cost effective. The first application we're going to look at is inspection. When building high-speed trains or aeroplanes, quality control is critical as these vehicles are exposed to many stresses throughout their lifetime. Previously, this inspection was done manually, was very time-consuming and is prone to human error. Now, using industrial cameras to scan the vehicles, large amounts of data can be uploaded to the cloud over 5G networks, where AI algorithms are then used to identify any issues or problems. As you can see from this demonstration, it is high-speed train carriages that are being inspected. However, the technology can be used in many different fields, including aircraft, components such as fuselages or wings. Another industry where 5G and AI is being extensively deployed is mining. In fact, I recently visited an underground coal mine in Shanxi, China, and was really surprised at the level of technology employed there. Huawei, using their various technologies, created a system that they call Mine Harmony that allows hundreds of machines from many different manufacturers to be able to communicate with each other, which previously was just not possible. All the data is then collected into a data lake and then displayed in a visual, easy to understand format, thus allowing workers and management of the mine to make more informed and timely decisions. I just feel so fortunate to be able to come and experience this. This is probably for me once in a lifetime thing, going in a 
a large scale coal mine um, in, in China or anywhere in the world. It's pretty amazing, really. 5G technology has not only been deployed in underground mines, but also open cast mines too. As you can see from this video, many of the trucks are controlled autonomously using cloud computing to navigate and avoid many different types of obstacles. As multiple data feeds from sensors on the truck like cameras, lidars and GPS need to be uploaded to the cloud in real time, it is only by using 5G or 5.5G networks that this bandwidth can be achieved. So behind me is the place that they're showing off the 5.5G. Uh, and the big takeaway from 5.5G is the bandwidth. It's 10 times more than 5G. And as well as that, the latency is even lower still, which means you can transfer massive amounts of data across the network in very, very short amounts of time. So another um, application of 5.5G using passive IoT will be in logistics. Now traditionally, logistics have used an RFID tag, but a passive IoT tag has a range of over 200 meters. And what this means is that traditionally, if you have a warehouse environment, you will have to have a guy walking around with a scan gun, very similar to this, to scan, scan, scan. Whereas with passive IoT, literally you'll be able to press one button have the whole of your inventory, your warehouse, counted within a second or two. And also, because the location accuracy of passive IoT is approximately down to as little as 30 centimeters, you will very quickly be able to identify and find lost items in your warehouse. And this is a major, major benefit for logistics companies. And that's just yet another example of how 5.5G will uh, be utilized within an industrial or logistics environment. Another industry that Huawei are transformed with technology are shipping ports. Tianjin port in China, a giant among ports, handling around 20 million container units annually, is one such example. Previously, the port was operated manually, cost a fortune to run and was far from efficient. Now, with Huawei's help, the port uses intelligent twins, autonomous vehicles, 5G technology, cloud computing and IoT, all interwoven into a connected system that Huawei call the Smart Port Solution. The port now uses autonomous cranes to load and unload the container ships, autonomous intelligent trucks to move them around and an artificial intelligence cloud-based system to implement port-wide centralized dispatching significantly increase in efficiency. The port has a fleet of 76 level 4 autonomous trucks that communicate with each other using the 5G infrastructure installed at the port. These electric trucks are also recharged at the most optimal times resulting in no downtime for the port operations. Since implementation of the smart port solution, the port has seen a reduction in cost of 30% as well as a significant increase in throughput. Operations have also become much greener with the port now using 17% less energy. Ice cream van look. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it's like an autonomous ice cream man. <clears throat> and you can buy an ice cream. Well, which one do you want? Like a top one? Go for anyone. Yeah? Oh shit. So Alvin's buying an ice cream. Please. Aha! Whoa! Okay, okay. Eat it now. Oh, you can you can have it. Oh, oh no, I can't, yeah. no, we'll give, we, we, we'll give it to you. Yeah, Mia can have it. Yeah, you can have it. It's ice cream. I just purchased it. I just bought oh, his ice cream. Yeah, I can have it. Yeah, from your oh, ice cream it's man. Edible. It's edible. Yeah, yeah. Of course, it's edible. Oh. Cool. I feel like I need to power this. Is yeah, this, that's... This is fun from time. That's kind of cool. So, uh, yeah, there's your mobile ice cream van. That's pretty much a quick tour of the Huawei booth here at MWC Shanghai 2023. And as always, for now, take care.
Cheers. Bye.